So, the things I like about your swing, we'll start with that. Club head, no problem there. It's pretty much a 90 degree angle behind the ball. Ball positioning, club head is pretty much center of your stance, and for a short to middle length club like we have here, it's perfect. Your feet are about the width of your shoulders as well, so that's also excellent. But the shaft angle is something that just gets you too crowded, and your left shoulder, which you can't see from here, is literally seized up against your chin. So, if you can start by positioning the golf club in a slightly flatter or more downward angle, the club is okay. The club head can almost rest on the heel because you're not customized to you anyways, right? That gets the shaft at more at waistline or just below. That'll relax your forearms. That'll get your shoulders out of your chin area. And then just make sure that we have a good feeling of being on the balls of your feet. When you're well balanced, a couple of times you sank back on your heels, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're in that athletic position so I couldn't move you, like a linebacker right. in football instead of on your heels, yep. you'll be able to raise up your chin a little bit, see the ball, have more room to make a bigger turn, and your arms are below your shoulders hanging very natural and supple, not locked yeah, and rigid. Like exactly. So that position you want to apply to any golf club and just uh, adjust for the club length accordingly, right, from driver to wedge. As you take it back from that position, you can see how the golf club head's got to get kind of lifted and picked up. Yeah. So your arms are taking it back, and then your wrists are going to have to cock now to soften that elbow, and the elbow slides behind your body, the club rises up, and look how your legs spread apart. Mm -hmm. That's your way of kind of staying on your feet. If you had the room in the positions I mentioned, the club head can go more directly back from the ball with the turn of your shoulders, and you'll keep your lower body as a result much more stable, like you can see with me on the right. So from here, on the way back down again, the club's going to come down first with your arms a little over the top. You reflex your right knee, get the weight back onto the instep, and you clear your left hip. But even your follow-through is limited or restricted as well because of that recovery. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to finish your swing in balance with your lower body leading you through for better power and control just by setting up to turn your body more effectively one way and then the other way.